In the summer of 2020, I divorced America. And today, I live in a country that doesn't even have an army. As a proud, queer, black American expat and nomad who moved out of the divided states of America, it is my pleasure to share with you what you may not have heard of yet, what I call the new Underground Railroad. It's a liberatory pathway that myself and thousands upon thousands of other black folks have found that allows us to live our lives in rest and in joy, peace and pleasure and community. We are following the footsteps of our ancestors who escaped plantations all across this nation. Only we have escaped quite a bit further to find our freedom. Allow me just a few moments to share with you this black social and political movement called Blacksit. Blacksit. <laughs> Blacksit is the term coined by academic, journalist, human rights consultant, Dr. Ulysses Burley III. And it is the combination of the two words, black and exit, which describes the modern day resurgence of African Americans moving out of the United States, either partially or primarily due to systemic racism. You see, black folks in America, have a long history of being on the move in search for freedom. Wow. So why do I say that I have divorced America? Well, if you are among the over 50% of marriages that end in divorce, or if you are a child of divorce, then you understand that divorce is complicated. <laughs> And that is how I describe my relationship with the United States. Growing up as a little girl, I dreamed of getting married and having children. And my dream came true. I married my husband and we had three beautiful children together. But after 11 years, that marriage ended in divorce. And so I had to dream another dream and I did. This time I married my wife. And after seven years, that marriage also ended in divorce. So I guess you could say marriage isn't for me. <laughs> 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 but as I got into my early 40s, and even though my marriages weren't abusive, the thing I couldn't stop thinking about was how my relationship with my country sure felt a lot like being in a toxic and abusive relationship. No one goes into marriage thinking they're gonna get divorced until death do us part. That's the language that we use. We say our vows and we mean them with all of our hearts until we don't. If you were raised here in the States like I was and perhaps you grew up reciting I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America until it was time to take a knee during the national anthem instead in protest of police brutality against black people. But let's not stop there. In protest of mass incarceration and the prison industrial complex and the fact that this country that is supposed to be the greatest nation on earth, also incarcerates the most humans, disproportionately black, than any other nation on the planet. Wow. In protest of the school to prison pipeline, in protest of the black maternal mortality rate that is rising, in protest of the racial wealth gap that is increasing, in protest of the lack of free universal health care in protest of the banning of books, the banning of black history, the banning of gender affirming health care, the banning of critical race theory and DEI, a lack of living wages, 
a lack of reproductive justice and the removal of affirmative action by the Supreme Court and the fact that guns are the number one killer of kids and teens in America, all in the 21st century. Liberty and justice for all? Where? I began to ask myself, am I really going to stay in this abusive and toxic relationship until it kills me? After two divorces, I've become clear about a lot of things. And one of those things is, I am not a tree. I can move. <laughs> and so, the Blacksit movement is our form of protest. Moving out of the states is our way of taking a knee. I have been a part of Blacksit communities online, both in Jamaica and in Costa Rica for the past several years. And it is among these black dreamers and these black freedom seekers where I have learned so much and where I have gained so much hope for our black futures. My mother's family is from New Orleans. My father's family migrated from Alabama to Chicago. I was born in North Carolina. My childhood was spent here in California. And I lived in Texas for almost 30 years and a few other places such as Atlanta. And I finally arrived at the conclusion that this country doesn't deserve me and never did. My American passport is only my bastard card. Not quite African and not Caucasian, but I am what America should be, the right to dream. And dreaming for many black folks today means moving out of the country that as Tupac Shakur said, got money for war, but can't feed the poor. War and peace. The US is a lot of things, but it knows nothing of peace or justice. Because rights were never meant for us when white men dreamed up America. America is the white man's wet dream. And I'll say it again and take as much time as you need to with it. America is the white man's dream. And so at some point, you have to ask, what about the rest of us? Today, I live in the land of Pura Vida, the pure life, among thousands of other black American expats all across Costa Rica. And we live there peacefully alongside the Ticos and the Ticas, and that's what the local Costa Rican people call themselves, and they are welcoming us. Now, pay attention to this part because this is important. The Blacksit community, this new underground railroad, has the opportunity, a very important opportunity, to learn how to be a guest in someone else's country and not just another colonizer. And so when you hear the black people that you love in your life start to say things like, I'm tired, or I just can't do this anymore, in reference to the ongoing struggle of being black in America, then you can tell them about Blacksit and that we want them to come and dream a new dream with us because life and liberation will find a way. Thank you.